My name is Wayne Kwashi, and I'm the clinical nurse specialist on the neuro-oncology, neurosurgery, orthopedics, and pain and palliative care floor. And my role really is um, the educator and the clinical resource for all the staff on the unit. With the mere diagnosis of cancer, you've already experienced a loss, a loss of health, and sometimes a loss of dreams. We deal with the person from that initial loss of the cancer diagnosis and then work with them through the trajectory of their disease and sometimes you may have to get to that point where it's the last moments of life. I'm Dee. I'm another nurse on the floor. I've worked on the neurology floor for three years now. Wayne reminds you that you're here for patient care. You know, we never lose focus of that here. I always say to myself, if it was me or my family member, I would want th them to be taken care of like this. The thing that most of the nurses learn very quickly is the technical part, the technical skills. That's pretty straightforward. You learn how to hang blood, you learn how to give meds, you learn all that stuff. That's very easy. Now the real work begins. They still have to learn from the get-go how do you work with family members that are undergoing an illness, because the family is undergoing the illness. We're treating not only the patient, we're treating the family too. For us to really do what we, what we do, we have to really be compassionate and be able to connect. When I go into patients' rooms, I like to see the pictures on the wall. To us, Mr. Smith is this patient. All right, go and do your trade care. But in the family members, Mr. Smith is that person on the wall that's drinking a pina colada on vacation. In the face of illness, there's no way but to really connect with them and really share in their joys and share in their sorrows. Everything about the way Wayne behaves on the floor, you kind of want to emulate. He's hands-on, he'll show you how to do it, what to do. Every day you come in here, you know somebody is working that has your back, somebody that has done it before. To really make sure and maintain a balance because you have to role model the behaviors. Right. Because that's what the CN1s and the CN2s, they'll be looking at you. As you continue to teach someone, and that person teaches someone else, and then that person teaches someone else, and you continue along the line. That's the exciting thing, that you can pass it on. I like oncology nursing. It allows me time to really get into people's lives during an extraordinary time, because really cancer is not something that's ordinary. You get to experience every aspect throughout the trajectory of their disease. All right, we're done. And then they come to you and say, well, you know what? Um, your nurses really delivered good care. That's, that's, that's it right there.